डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई टीचर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर ऑन पैरिंग्स नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू फ्यू थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग दिस लेक्चर दैट एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई एम शोइंग यू द फिगर ऑफ द फैरिंग्स नाउ what i am telling you that you go through this name and you compulsorily remember all the names now when you are ready with all the names then you come back so what i am telling you that you pause this lecture for 5 minutes remember all the names then you attend this lecture so the job of both of us will become easy you can easily understand and i can easily explain the topic to you and on the right hand side these are the regions so you go these are the divisions or the regions of the pharynx for example the yellow color they have used for nasopharynx blue color for the oropharynx and the orange color for the laryngopharynx now <coughs> starting this presentation lecture first of all the location of the pharynx so as you can see on the screen where exactly the pharynx is located in our body okay so this is the location of the pharynx now <clears throat> this one is the first point regarding the pharynx now what is pharynx see when we daily we are taking various kind of food then we <coughs> with the help of our teeth for example we ingest various kind of food and with the help of teeth we chew the food and the saliva mixes and with the help of tongue the bolus is made and we swallow this bolus so when we swallow the food bolus the bolus enters into the pharynx okay so this is the meaning of the first line that when we swallow the food the food enters or the food passes or the bolus passes from the mouth to the pharynx pharynx is equal to throat so pharynx is also known as throat now the shape of the pharynx is the funnel shape so in the figure as you can see this is the this one is the entire pharynx and as you can see it is having a funnel shape okay so the shape of the pharynx is the funnel shape tube now where it is extending where it is present where it is located so it is present between the internal nares okay in the beginning it starts from the internal nares and it ends at the esophagus and the larynx so on the posterior side it ends into esophagus and anteriorly the pharynx ends into larynx 
So in the figure I am showing you. So as you can see, internal nearest, you follow this arrow. So from here, the pharynx is originating and then it is elongating, it is extending and over here the pharynx is divided into two parts okay so this posterior tube this tube is known as the esophagus and this tube okay so the initial part of this tube is known as the larynx so in simple <coughs> word we can say the pharynx bifurcates into esophagus and the larynx okay so with this we have completed the first point of our discussion regarding the location of the pharynx where in our body the pharynx is present from where it is originating and where it is ending so now moving on the second point of our discussion so as you can see even though this second point is only a one line but this point is the most difficult point for you to remember now you might be wondering why I am telling you like this because as you can see over here what is written the pharynx pharynx is, a, uh, pharynx is composed of skeletal muscle and the pharynx is lined by mucous membrane so why I am telling you like this that this is the most difficult point and you cannot remember the reason is this let me show you skeletal muscle of the pharynx okay see there's so many names are there okay so okay then in this figure okay see the muscles okay these are the muscles okay various kinds of muscles then in this figure okay so that's why I was telling you that this is the most difficult point but don't worry you don't have to in your syllabus you don't have to remember these names so when you study the medicine that time you prepare those names okay so don't worry about those names so this was the second point now moving on the and see this this is the this skeleton okay this is the laughing skeleton why he is laughing <laughs> and see the tongue is out okay so he is laughing because you cannot remember the names of the skeletal muscle that's why he is laughing okay laughing skeleton so now moving on the third point third point is very simple one the division of the pharynx pharynx is divided into three part the first part of the pharynx is known as the nasopharynx the second part is known as the oropharynx and the third part of the pharynx <coughs> is known as the laryngopharynx okay so in the figure i am showing you so nasopharynx oropharynx and laryngopharynx and you follow follow these arrows 
where these arrows are ending so I am zooming the figure so that you can see it properly and this detail you can read this detail also okay so this information you can read you can go through this information now one more thing many a times you will come across this term the epiglottis so <clears throat> what is epiglottis so epiglottis uppermost cartilage of the larynx okay for example this is the larynx and here this light sky blue color structure is the epiglottis okay so it is made up of cartilage okay so with this we have completed the third point that are the parts of the pharynx now moving on the fourth point now the function of the nasopharynx so nasopharynx take part only in the respiration process but the rest of the two two structures two part of the pharynx that are the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx they are having digestive as well as respiratory functions okay so with this we have completed the fourth point of our discussion now moving on the fifth point now this is the fifth point now how to <coughs> pronounce or how to speak this pharynx now generally we are speaking the pharynx but actually as you can see it is fair rings okay and pharynx means throat okay and the pharynx is the funnel shaped tube and it is having the length of 13 centimeter that is 5 inch so pharynx is a funnel shape 13 centimeter long tube and it starts from the internal nerve okay so as you can see these are the internal nerve you follow the arrow so it is starting from the internal nerve and it extends to the level of cricoid cartilage so it is elongated up to cricoid cartilage for example over here as you can see this one is the cricoid cartilage name is written and you follow this arrow so this one this one is the cricoid cartilage so the pharynx pharynx starts from the internal nares and it ends at the cricoid cartilage okay and this is the inferior cartilage of the larynx okay so cricoid cartilage remember the name cricoid cartilage and it is the inferior cartilage of the larynx larynx is also known as voice box so with this we have completed the fifth point of our discussion now moving on the sixth point now where where this pharynx is located in our body so just posterior to the nasal cavity for example this is the nasal cavity so posterior posterior to nasal cavity and oral cavity so this is this one this one is the oral cavity so this part okay this part this is the this part is the fair rings okay up to here this one then this part and this okay so this this entire funnel set tube this is 
this one is the fairings and the fairings is superior to the larynx once again fairings where it is present posterior to nasal and oral cavity so we can say on the back side of nasal and oral cavity and on the top of the larynx the pharynx is present for example this is the larynx so superior superior to larynx the pharynx is present okay and just anterior to the cervical vertebra so as you can see these are the these are the cervical vertebra and anterior to this cervical vertebras okay anterior to this cervical vertebra the pharynx is present so this is regarding the location of the pharynx now moving on the seventh point now what this pharynx is made up of so pharynx is composed of skeletal muscles and internally it is lined with the mucous membrane and the relaxed skeletal muscle help to keep the pharynx patent so in the structure of pharynx skeletal muscles are there and when the skeletal muscles are relaxed that time the pharynx remains open that is the meaning of the word patent patent means open so the food can easily pass through the pharynx when the skeletal muscles are relaxed now contraction of the skeletal muscle they help in the process of swallowing so let's say you are eating something any sweet or any food item so what happens after the chewing the bolus will be formed and you will voluntarily engulf or swallow this bolus so that swallowing is possible with the help of skeletal muscles of the pharynx that is the meaning of this line and the pharynx is also a passage way for the air we breathe then the food we eat and it is the resonating chamber for speech sound so we are able to speak loudly due to the pharynx so it is it is <coughs> acting like the amplifier okay and it is increasing the intensity of our voice then in the pharynx the tonsils are also present and this tonsil they are functioning they are participating in the immunological reactions so due to the presence of tonsil in the pharynx our body can fight against the foreign invaders that means the bacteria that are present in our food so pharynx which is having the tonsil this tonsil fight against the bacteria okay so this is the seventh point of our discussion now moving on the eighth point 
now we have already discussed this thing that the parts of the pharynx so we know the pharynx can be divided into three anatomical regions that is the nasopharynx, oropharynx and the laryngopharynx. Now this line you have to remember by your own because as I have shown you there are so many muscles and we cannot study the internal structure of the muscles of the pharynx so you have to remember this line that the entire pharynx muscles they are arranged in two layers the outer circular layer and an inner longitudinal layer so with this we have completed the eighth point of our discussion now moving on the ninth point Now the ninth point is like this. See, now the parts of the pharynx or the divisions of the pharynx. So the first part or the superior part of the pharynx is known as the nasopharynx. And where this nasopharynx is present? So it is present posterior to nasal cavity and it is extending to the soft palate. So in the figure I will show you. For example, you see this. Okay. So this is the nasopharynx. So from here to up to here this part so this region this part okay this part is known as the nasopharynx and this one this one this is the soft palate okay so here the name is written the soft palate. So, so we were discussing about the nasopharynx where actually the nasopharynx is located so posterior to nasal cavity and it is extending to soft palate now what is this soft palate so it is the posterior posterior portion of the roof of the mouth so it is acting as a roof in the posterior region of mouth for example this is our mouth okay and this part is the posterior part so this is the posterior part and this is the roof so this palate soft palate is making the roof okay is acting as the roof of the posterior part of our mouth and it is arch shape so as you can see the shape this is the arch shape the shape is the arch shape soft palate okay And what this soft palate is made up of, so it is the muscular portion, it is made up of muscles and present where this soft palate is present between the nasopharynx and oropharynx. So soft palate, soft palate is present on the back side or the posterior side of our mouth. It is muscular structure it is acting as the roof of mouth and it is present between the nasopharynx and oropharynx and the soft palate is lined by mucous membrane so you observe in the figure that this is the nasopharynx okay this one is nasopharynx 
this one is the oro fairing and between the naso fairings and oro fairings the soft palette is present okay so with this we have completed the ninth point this is the ninth point of our discussion we have completed this point then moving on the tenth point of our discussion now the posterior wall of the fairings <coughs> that is the naso fairings that we are talking about so in the posterior wall the pharyngeal tonsils are present and these pharyngeal tonsils are also known as adenoid so in the figure i am showing you this pharyngeal tonsil okay so as you can see this is the this part now we know this part is the naso pharynx okay and in the posterior wall this structure okay this is the pharyngeal tonsil okay and the other name of the pharyngeal tonsil so they are also known as adenoid now <coughs> through the internal layers the naso pharynx receives air from the nasal cavity and it also receive the package of the dust laden mucus now what is happening that see when we breathe we take the atmospheric air so this air enters into our nasal cavity okay then this air is filtered in the nasal cavity then there is a exchange of o2 and co2 okay then uh, sorry little bit uh, exchange occurs but the mostly the oh i sincerely apologize for this point by mistake i told you that the exchange but actually the exchange at uh, occurs at the inside the lung in the alveoli but sorry for this but uh, this we are talking about this atmospheric air so this atmospheric air enters into the naso pharynx and the air which is entering into our nose is also having some dust particle and in our nose there are you know there are the nasal secretion so this dust particle they stick to the mucus or the secretion of the nasal cavity so now this dust laden mucus it also enters into the <coughs> naso pharynx okay so this is the meaning of uh, this point okay so this is the 10th point of our discussion then the cells okay the cells of the naso pharynx for example i am drawing for example this is the this one is the naso uh, naso pharynx so over here the these are the let's say these are the columnar epithelial cells okay and on the surface of this cells the cilia are present as you can see okay and these cilia are continuously beating okay the movement of cilia is continuously taking place so due to that what happen the dust laden mucus is traveling into the 
nasopharynx and then this dust laden mucus will enter into the inferior part of the pharynx that is the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx okay so this is the this is that they were talking about okay so this point okay how the dust laden mucus <coughs> is moving okay to the fair inferior part of the pharynx okay now moving on the 12th point of our discussion now in the 12th point as you can see the nasopharynx also exchange small amount of air with the auditory tube okay for example over here this is the opening of the auditory tube okay so the nasopharynx which receives the atmospheric air it is exchanging the small amount of air with the auditory tube to equalize the air pressure between the pharynx and the middle ear okay so this is the 12th point okay the exchange of small amount of air with the auditory canal to equalize the air pressure between the pharynx and middle ear okay so the structure which is involved in the air exchange between the pharynx and middle ear that structure is the auditory tube okay so with this we have completed the 12th point of our discussion now moving on the 13th point of our discussion so this is the 13th point okay now this is regarding the oropharynx now the oropharynx is the middle part of the pharynx so that's why it is written it is the intermediate portion of the pharynx and where this oropharynx is present so it is present posterior to oral cavity and extends from soft palate to the hyoid bone okay once again oropharynx intermediate portion of the pharynx where it is present posterior to oral cavity and it is extended from the soft palate to the hyoid bone okay so first of all i am showing you the oropharynx so as you can see the name is written oropharynx and these are the this tuck this part this is the this region is the oropharynx and as you can see this is the this is our this is our oral cavity so on the back side of our oral cavity okay and this is the this one is the soft palate and this one is the hyoid bone so from here up to here so this part this region okay that right now i am showing you this part so this entire region 
this part is known as the <coughs> oro pharynx okay so this is regarding the location of oro pharynx so in short we will remember that the oro pharynx is the intermediate part of the pharynx and it is present between the soft palate and the hyoid bone then now moving on the 14th point of our discussion now this oro pharynx is having only one opening for example this is the this is the oro pharynx and it receives only one opening into it and this opening is known as the fauces okay and this fauces is the opening from the mouth so here you can see this part this part is the oropharynx okay this is our oral cavity okay and this is the this is the fauces okay so the oropharynx has only one opening that is the fauces then this part of the pharynx that is the oropharynx we are talking has both respiratory as well as the digestive functions and this oropharynx is the common passage way for the air food and the liquid that we drink okay and in this oropharynx what happens the food particle they experience the abrasion so when food passes from the aero uh, this oropharynx so there is a kind of friction between the food and the oropharynx so to protect oropharynx from this friction from the food that is the abrasion the wall of the oropharynx that is the internal wall is lined with the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium then in the oro pharynx two pairs of tonsils are present that are the palatine and the lingual tonsils are present in the oro pharynx okay so this two two type of tonsils i am showing you that is the this is the this one is the lingual this one is the lingual tonsil okay and the other one is the palatine so here you can see the palatine so this one <coughs> so this one is the palatine tonsil so palatine and the lingual tonsil are found in oro pharynx so with this we have completed the 15th point of our discussion now moving on the last point of our discussion okay now the final part or the last part or the inferior part of the pharynx is known as the laryngopharynx or the hypopharynx so for example as you can see the name is written laryngopharynx 
so this part this part is known as the laryngo pharynx now from where this laryngo pharynx begins so it begins at the level of hyoid bone Rem remember this thing that the laryngo pharynx begins at the level of hyoid bone and then it elongates okay for example this is the hyoid bone okay this one is the hyoid bone and this is the laryngo pharynx so imagine this is this laryngo pharynx this is the tube and in simple way let's say i am drawing this is the laryngo pharynx and this laryngo pharynx is going to bifurcate it going to divide into two tubes okay so one tube is known as the larynx okay that is the anterior one this this part is the larynx and this tube is known as the esophagus that is the posterior tube so we can say that the laryngopharynx opens anteriorly to larynx and posteriorly to the esophagus okay so that is the meaning of this point they are writing over here okay then like the oropharynx the laryngopharynx is also functioning functioning as the respiratory it is helping in the respiratory function and at the same time it is also acting as the digestive pathway for the food okay we know from our mouth the that is the oral cavity the bolus when the swallowing take place the bolus enters into pharynx there are the three regions or the three divisions of the pharynx that the naso naso is not in all but the oro and then this one laryngo so here the food is passing okay and the food then enters from laryngo pharynx into the esophagus so that's why they are writing that the laryngo pharynx is also acting as the digestive pathway at the same time air also it is transported <coughs> from the laryngo pharynx okay then the air will enter into the respiratory system and the internal wall of the laryngo pharynx is lined by non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium okay so with this we have completed the discussion of all the 16 point of this presentation lecture now be before i wind up this presentation lecture i would like to show you all the figures so you go through all the figures okay so this was the first figure this figure try to remember the name which are there in your syllabus okay on the back side the names 
you don't have to remember the name which are present on the back side and just go once to this figure okay remember the name which are important one then this one is very so you will get the idea see the okay the title first of all pairings open posterior view okay then the parts of the pairing that is naso pairing oro pairing laryngo pairing and the esophagus and you also go through the names which are written on right hand side this part this way so with this i have completed this presentation lecture on pharynx i hope this lecture will be helpful in your exam preparation and in your studies My name is Manish Kosti sir I am from Ahmedabad India bye bye namaste